this video is about vector sequences you cannot always create vectors by hand by typing all the elements one by one so to create a vector sequence is as simple as this to create a sequence from 1 to 10 you adjust this 1 to 10 it creates or if you want to do 10 to 1 you can do just that B will have 10 to 1 now you want to create a sequence that does not increase by one in one each step so to do that what you can do is use the function ACQ for sequence of course one give the ending digit or ending number let me give go till 16 I want to increase increment by a step of 2 this is going to give me 1 followed by 3 followed by 5 uh, it did not print out 16 because 16 is the last element after 15 it will go to 17 so it stopped at 15 now I will feed this in to a variable so that I will be able to use it let me create one more rather a long one now 1 to say 20 but I am I'm going to increment by 0.1 so this is going to give me a pretty big vector likewise I can go from 20 to 1 to like this 20 comma 1 and give a minus 1 here D will have 20, 19.9, 19.8 and so forth Say you have a sequence where you don't know the last element, you just know the length of the sequence and the starting point of the sequence. What you can do is use ACQ. Say I want to start from 5, I want to go, I have to say. So I will use by as 2, length as 50. I will feed this in to another character or variable. So E should have 50 elements which increment by 2 units. So this is how you generally create sequences. If you want to append one sequence over another, you can just do something like this A comma B comma C comma D comma E. That is going to append one vector after another. I am going to feed all of this into F. So what is this? What does F contain? All of these elements appended one after each other.